It's Lysy Shark Avenue. I finally selected the natural jelly. Yay! I love natural jelly. Natural or not, you'll still die if you eat too much. Ooh! I'm gonna make a video about natural selection. Yay! Doop-bop, doop-bop, doo! Hey folks, welcome to Ring Tail Rundown. It's me, Trey, and me, Yurt, the best, the best character around here. <laughs> the guy you all paid to see. Anyway, today we're going to talk about natural selection. Now, what is natural selection? Um, duh, it means to select parents so you can get a certain desired trait. Duh. Um, that's selective breeding. Anyway, natural selection is the idea of animals doing better and later than others thanks to their traits being better suited for their location. Hello, intermission. Hey, folks, it's me, Jerome, and it's my bro, Pinwheelie, and we're letting you know to buy Brain Ramen. This video sponsor. Keep watching to see what it can do. Let's use this brain ramen to go to Africa to find our first example. <laughs> I can get there first. Psh, one trip to Africa later. Ah, Africa. It's so beautiful. Come on, Trey. Get on with it. Uh, hey, you see that giraffe? Ha. <laughs> My name is Steven, and I love having a long neck. Long ago, giraffes most likely had shorter necks. But Trey, how could they get to the trees? <laughs> well, they just evolved long necks. And those giraffes that evolved long necks were able to live longer, you know, thanks to being fed. <laughs> so they were able to pass their genes, and bam, we have the giraffes we know today. But now, we have a question. How did giraffes get from short necks to long necks? Well, here's what scientists believe. At the location where the prehistoric giraffes were, their food was shorter, so it wasn't really useful to have a long neck. But when their location changed, their food became placed in higher locations. So, the giraffes with slightly longer necks were able to survive, and after thousands, wait no, possibly millions of years of adapting to their environment, their bodies changed to the form we know them today. It is also important to note that evolution is still going on to this day, and the creatures of this world are still evolving, in, you know, tiny ways. For example, in the future, giraffes could have even longer necks. Or they could just, you know, go extinct. I definitely knew that. I definitely did. Anyway, let's go to America to find our next example. Whoa, America! One trip to America later. Wow, can't believe we're in America. And I'm in my normal attire. Anyway, another example of natural selection is with the peppered moth. Peppered moths, thanks to their color, are able to blend in with the tree bark. <laughs> oh yeah, and also another thing, with pollution and stuff, the trees began to die again, and, you know, black moths had the advantage. Wow, it, you're, that, that's correct, uh, how did you know? Because I'm smarter than you, of course. Uh, anyway, I'm Trey, and I'm Yurt, and this was the Ring Tail Rundown on Natural Selection. Audio. Flema. <laughs> Still looking beautiful. Ha 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 ha, who is this football Flema? That, my sister Laura, is Jerome, one of my employees. So what do you want? Uh, well, I did get this from Trey. Introducing Trey's TV Transformer. If you put it on your TV, you can talk to people through their TVs. 
Now, because I gave that to you, can we go on the Time to contact a certain blue lemur. Don't worry, Pinwheelie. She probably finds me super attractive. Doo-bop, doo-bop, doo. That's just how it goes.